What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well today. Um, good seeing you. Even though I can't see you, leave a comment and then it'll be good to see you. I just got back picking up uh, Addie and Jude from school. They had a good day. Okay. Now we're snacking. Uh, Ev's eating lunch and Danielle and I have been cleaning up a little bit. And so today we got a little more information regarding our midwife office. I'm gonna let Danielle fill you in on that in a little bit. But I'm just gonna tell you guys, it's crazy. It's just obnoxious. Like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and obnoxious, frustrating. frustrating, all of the above, I think is what it is. So, anyways, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But, we're having a good day. We're not gonna let things ruin our days. We are gonna have a fun afternoon with kids taking naps. Right? Isn't that yeah. fun? Yeah, we gotta finish upstairs. Finish upstairs? No, we don't. We did my eyes. Is it good? Is it Nomi? Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. 54 eggs fit in that basket. Judy, can you say hi? Hi. What are you eating? I can. Can you take a bite of that? <laughs> Before we do anything else today, I gotta make myself an ice latte because I haven't had one today. First world problems. Got to make it right now. And then for the taste test. Hey, you were supposed to leave this in that red folder. I was. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So, truthfully, we were in the middle of like right before we left for the hurricane, I was trying to like declutter, get rid of toys, get rid of clothes, like simplify life because it's so easy to get overwhelmed. And I feel like once it piles up, there's no going back. And then it's just like, you ever look at a really big mess and you're like, I don't, nope, nope. I'll do that later. Cause it's so overwhelming. You just don't even want to start. So that's like where we were with laundry with the girls. They just had so many clothes. So we we're trying to simplify. That way they could go in my closet, grab any of their clothes, and it'd be cool. Like you could wear that even if it's picture day and I don't realize it. Because that could definitely happen here. <laughs> like True story. picture days this week, don't let me forget. <laughs> but for real, that could happen. They could so now I know anything that they pick out. That's why we did the clothing haul, whatever. But we had to get rid of a bunch of old stuff. And it's everywhere. It's in every room. It got a little neglected, so we're kind of like it's kind of like a bigger undertaking than I wish it was at this point but it's gonna feel so good. But really like the biggest problem right now is our bathroom is a mess. Our closet is a mess, so we can't really get in there. And then all my clothes from going out of town are still on the floor. Plus I just washed the girl's clothes for this week, so we need to get those. Yeah, and that basket's heavy, dog. You don't even know. It doesn't look like there's that many clothes in there, but you pick that thing up it's weighted. There's probably like a thousand pieces of clothing in there. So I'm sure That's I'll be helping with that. Well, like I said, Danielle recruited me to do this basket. So here we go. Record time right here. Cause we only got like 35 minutes to get the girls from the bus stop. So I'm done. Luckily there was like a few of Danielle's dresses in there and that always takes up a lot of space. So it helped it to go a little bit quicker um, and with a little bit of time to spare, but I gotta go get the girls from the bus stop. Um, but before I do look at this, this, I don't know if you've seen us do this, um, but this is what, how we hang the girls' clothes. So we color 
code the girls clothes by hanger so um, like for example well, I'll just tell you all of them um, Addie has white hangers um, and if you can hear she's in her room tell me to come get her um, and it's woke up from a nap okay I'm coming here I come um, Jude has these like peach colored hangers then Elena has blue hangers and Tyler has pink hangers and then Ev girl has little gray hangers Yes, in her own little spot. I don't know why. I, th I think because just for space she purposes. Didn't know. Well, she lived know. in our room for so long. Yeah, so I guess we just haven't converted her, but we'll probably have to convert her soon really because we'll have another uh, yeah. child taking over that little space. And little um, baby clothes. So and yeah, so the the hangers kind of age with them. So as they change from one size to the next, we keep the same hangers just for consistency's sake. Um, so yeah, so that's how we keep up with all their clothes and know whose is whose when they're on, on the um, hangers and whatnot. So there you go. Okay, nine o'clock-ish. Um, still have a lot to do. But our closet, go from there, John. Okay, so um, what did I do? I don't know, you probably saw like a little glimpse maybe through the door. I should have done it before. It didn't really cross my mind until I was in the middle of it, so there's still like some weird stuff like this is a box of picture frames um, We should probably hang them up on our wall. We just keep weird like this stuff. This one's mm -hmm. so cute That one got broken. Look at this Tyler that was from preschool from like I don't know how many years ago now But then there's just like new frames that we just need to print pictures for um, for now, it's just gonna sit there because I don't really know what else to do with it. But like, if you could have seen before, there was stuff all over. There was much stuff up there. But we got their dry clothes back in here. Their wet clothes are drying, and once they're dry, they'll get hung up in here. Um, John, you have a basket of clothes to hang up that are yours in here. Mm -hmm. But you guys, like, you can actually see the floor, and you can walk around. My clothes I still haven't tackled because like I said, most of it doesn't fit right now. So I need to like take everything that doesn't fit and put it on one side and just leave what does fit. And then after this pregnancy, go back through and get rid of the things that fit again that I don't actually want, so. Okay, so that is that. I really should have shown you before because you would be like, whoa, you guys are crazy hoarders and that's disgusting. Um, our bathroom still shows remnants of it, and so does this. If that gives you any idea, imagine like this much stuff, even though this was out here, and like this trash bag, plus another trash bag, plus two big boxes of giveaway stuff. It was all in our closet, and now it's not. So, go me. And go John for hanging up all the clothes. Look at them over there. Now we gotta make some space on the bed, sit down. Um, probably grab some snacks and stuff to chill out and then I will tell you guys about our appointment next week. Exciting news. You guys have been waiting probably through the whole vlog for this. Um, we will, we have an appointment, finally, a prenatal checkup. It's been like... A month and a half. Two months. Two months. Time. Oh my gosh, it's been almost two months. We will be going to a new practice um, for this checkup. Let me just fill you guys in, like, real quick on... It wasn't even the deciding factor, because I think we were already, like, not happy, like, and not wanting to go back um, to the other practice. Like I said before, we paid extra out of pocket to go there. Like, I really did like my experience with Jude's birth and with Addie's birth, like, and with my care with them, like, so we opted to go back there. It was a few weeks ago, we got like a post-it note on the door that said we missed a certified letter from them. And keep in mind, I haven't heard anything. I canceled our last appointment because it was like weird with the billing issues slash the, them asking like us to remove YouTube videos, like weird. Okay, so I canceled that appointment while we were trying to figure out what to do. Shortly after, our third payment came out of our bank account. And then like two or three days after that, I got an email saying our payment plan had been canceled. Keep in mind, that's like three payments. Like we've already paid like $2,500. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then they canceled it randomly. I'm like, what is going on? So then I get this thing saying, you missed a letter. Like, you had to be present and sign for it. We're like, okay. And then it said, we will try to re-deliver it. Then hurricane happened. We went out of town. When we got back, I was, like, expecting to see a... We got... Like, that, one. like another one. Notice, yeah. Because we were gone. But there wasn't one. So I was like, that's weird. Like, maybe they haven't delivered it. Or maybe they just took it right back. My friends, yesterday... We went to Costco <laughs> to get groceries. And when we got back, there was a thing on our door. Like, of course, we're home now, whatever. We, the, we are always home. We both work yeah. from home. Like, we happened to go out to Costco where the girls were at school. Yeah, we missed it again. Okay, so we still don't have the letter. So I finally was like, t so that was yesterday. Today, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna call them and just see what's going on. So I called this morning, so it was early. And it turns out that that letter was to let us know that we were no longer being seen as patients there. They decided to discharge us um, <laughs> as their patients. No phone call, no nothing. Yeah. Uh, I had to call to find that out. I mean, obviously, I, the letter, but again, it took the post office <laughs> weeks to get it to us. And then we still missed it. And so now we have to go pick it up, which okay, that's fine, but we have so much to do and on our plate already, like, they should have called, they should have done stuff, I don't know. Anyway, we've never had a conversation with them before about any of this, any of this situation. Nobody's ever called us from the very beginning of, like, having any sort of issue. Yeah. I had no issue. We, like, remedied their issue. We took care of it. We already talked, like, we won't film in the practice anymore, whatever, whatever. Like, we were agreeable. I've never felt, like so uncared for as a person as I did on the phone today. I just felt like, wow, we're just a number. I just felt like the person I talked to on the phone, however, she was not like rude necessarily, but she definitely didn't care and she wasn't compassionate and she actually sounded really irritated with me. It was ridiculous. You were her. And, like, yeah, like. Yeah. So it's a good thing, though, I think, in the end. In the end, it's a because good thing. I was very frustrated. Yeah, <laughs> Earlier oh, yeah. today, I was like, I had the, oh, I had so the camera, bad. and I was like, do I pick up the camera and no. record this? Because I don't think she'll want me to. Okay. I, no, it wasn't I, mad on the phone. Like, I wasn't yelling no, or no, anything no, no, like no, that. Should. Like, after I got off the phone, I was like, John, you just visibly I very frustrated. cannot believe that. Like, I was upset. Yeah. Like, like I said, I've never been treated that way, especially at 30 weeks pregnant. Like, it's not that easy to just switch providers, especially if your provider doesn't tell you that you're not a patient there anymore. Anyway, the point is... We got somewhere. I'm, like, blown away, but I'm blown yeah, away. Yeah, that's crazy. I will say this. Like, I went from, this is, like, I love this practice. I, w I legit recommended it to so many people. Like, I've had friends that move here and want to mourn out. I'm like, oh, this is the place I have. They're going to love it. I will not do that anymore. Never again. They see a lot of patients, which is probably why patients are numbers to them now right. and not people. Yep. I'm not speaking for, like, the midwives because I don't, I mean, like, as a whole and the way they run their business and the people that are, like, in charge of it, like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just for clear. Okay, so we have glucose screening appointment coming up. Can't wait to share. Like, this is going to be a different experience. I've never done this before. Yeah. So, I'm actually kind of excited about that now. Um, plus, talking on the phone today to new providers, I'm like, I was like, John, they, like, they talk to me like I'm their friend. Like, it really, it did, it felt like I was talking to a friend. Like, okay, yeah, then let me know if you need anything at all. I'm like, so it's already a different feeling entirely. Okay, so I'm excited. I can't wait for you guys to come along with us on that as we dive further in. We only have 10 weeks left. I know, it's crazy. It's insane. But we're going to bed. Good night. We love you. Subscribe if you haven't. Share our channel with your friends. Um, do that. Especially if they really like birth, because apparently yeah, we're gonna do that do. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace. Bye. Bye.